Hello everybody, most rapid, and welcome to God of War, I cannot go through this part 29, hope you enjoy it until I come and scrub, and let's begin. So here we are, we cross the, um, the magical door, which is not is there. Oh, is it a horse? Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask yeah. her. Nicely. Ask her. Easy, girl, easy. That's right. Good. Oh my gosh, there's a horse! It, there's a horse in the game! Whoa! You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Can I get on? Ah, oh, we on. can. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. Oh my gosh! The horse! Whoa, what's going on? The sea! We're under the sea! Oh my gosh, we're literally under the sea now. That's amazing. This game is great. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Okay, let's go. Let's open the curtains. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There must be a way to subvert destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When my son was born, shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. 
He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was a bit strange. Well, that was educational. Mm -hmm. Let us leave this place happily. Oh my gosh, we're traveling through the sea again. This horse is like amazing, man. Can go underwater. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Yeah, definitely. Brother, what they said about the boy? Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Okay, word of fate, leave Is the norms. Normal? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Let's open this chest, let's see what it's got inside. Nice. Let's go up. Kratos, I see something. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it too. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Does anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norms. Okay, the w word of fate. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. 
Give your mind a little time to process everything. Okay, let's go. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Although, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. Yeah, we go home. Let's go home. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the past and sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. You me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking yep. of the dwarves. Ask the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. Where's the shop? Ah, uh, there's the shop. How can I help? This axe just keeps getting stronger. Okay, done. Boy, I'm glad this axe is in your hands. Then let's upgrade a few more. Okay, then. Then a few more. Enjoy to work on these. Boom. Let's just upgrade all of the these weapons, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages. I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go. Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but go fetch Dropnir. Yeah. <laughs> Dropnir. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Even if it means war. What do you think?
Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. Okay. So I guess we're gonna go on an adventure to find the materials. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well, with that. But, to be honest, see you out there. Master Kratos, it's important we speak at your earliest possible convenience. They're all going to blame us. Okay. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. Yep, that was clever. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lyre been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion and you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for. On account of being <laughs> stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Okay, let's go. Let's keep on going. When we reach the lady, I'm stop the video here. Yeah. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Let's go, keep on going. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Hmm. 
Guess we'll have to blast our way out. That barrel by the gate. Yeah. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing the culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, Alright. One. Come on. Come on. Um. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. There we go. Let's go, keep on going this way. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Okay, let's keep on going. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Move. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Kratos, Kratos, please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. We got some stuff, brilliant. Ah, oh, there's the lover. These gates seem to be connected.
Hmm. How do you do this? How do you do this? Um. Hmm. I wonder. Wonder. I wonder. How do you do this? Hmm. So yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Throw the axe. Twilight Storm, we can use that. Oh! Not quite, just find the right angle. Hmm. Hmm, let's try it one more time then I'm gonna stop it. Okay. 
There we go. It's open. Boom, it's done. Finally, thank you. Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Okay. Go, 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 hide, 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 Jesus Christ, what was that, what was that? On your guard, okay, come on, come on, move, move, move. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're done. Okay. Thank you so much for watching part 29. I'll be doing part 30 really soon. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video of Viva Mika. Bye.